Hey guys and gals, let's build the House of the World number one by Lego. This is set number 40583. And this is supposed to be a promotional offer. Lego hasn't provided me any other info on it yet, so I may have it posted in the description below. So, despite its size, and we only have two bags, so that's good. That's what it is. It's a micro build. Now, when you unbox the set, you're probably going to notice that you're going to have two bag ones and two bag twos. So that's pretty much a given there. All right, so let's get going on it here. We are going to start now with bag number one for indexing purposes. Now, like I said, don't let the size fool you because it is a micro build. So I'm hoping to blast through this and making sure my camera is not a flashy flashy because well I've been overflowing my memory on this thing <laughs> so we're gonna need that and I'm pretty much um, almost done with all these as of the filming right now I got all the unboxings done and all the intros done so now I'm just building up for the I'm doing the builds I have three more sets to build um, then I'm going to do the review. I'm going to leave that upside down then. And then that's it. And I got two more sets coming in, but I don't know when they're going to arrive yet. So I'm going to try to um, get things done lickety split here. So I hope everybody had a great holiday. I had a wonderful holiday. Um, it was kind of rocky at first, computer broke down and all that stuff, but at the end though, I survived. I'm still on that laptop right now. I'm trying to find a cooler for the PC and it's, well, you can't go to your big box electronics store and find one. So, it's like, now I'm going to have to go to other sites and order one. And hope I get something with the warranty and all that stuff so I'm doing research because working off of a laptop producing videos is kind of well challenging in a way <laughs> so I can't just I can't mass produce videos uh, I had to postpone some building guides but I couldn't really finish those up and I think the next page is the yeah that's what I kind of figured doesn't show it in the back here of the manual, but there it is. So now we got the base right here. Now, this is a micro build. I'm not really a fan of micro builds, but this one looks interesting. So we're going to give it a whirl here and see. And if you got this set, you're more than welcome to build along with me and put up with my nonsense. <laughs> so. Let's see if this one's going to be repetitious. I've done some micro builds and they got to be very boring. I think sometimes it's it just depends on the colors. So, so far, well, I haven't been annoyed yet, so I'm fine. So, I've been kind of busy with things lately and it's been very cold here. We're hitting record lows, which is unheard of. I mean, cold enough to snow, except it's clear. That's when it's that's when it's cold. When it's raining, it's warm. Sometimes it gets humid. <laughs> we're all hoping that we're all we're all hoping it will snow here. We want to be snowed in. We want to know what it's like to be snowed in. And you know, and yeah, all our all of our electric out here. And all our utilities are underground. We don't really even lose power out here. So it's really good. All right, they're telling you which one's not to use here. So you got to use the light one. At least they're telling you which one that you can use. Okay, it must be the dark green here. Or the bright green. I don't know, they got that in lime green. Huh. I'm assuming it's lime green here. 
when they give you three um, no it's two I was like I was comparing them and thinking they give me three or two styles of what it, stud flowers I mean that'd be brutal but yeah um, I like the cold I really do but I mean I, I, last couple of days, man, I have been shivering. Like, I've been bundled up under the cover. <laughs> I want to get out of bed. Um, but I, I've been soaking up the cold weather because it's not going to last too long. We'll be, we'll be hitting in spring probably in mid-January, early February. So, it won't, be, it won't be too much fun. Okay, so, so far... This build is not too bad. It's not bad in terms of... I'm not annoyed with it yet, but there's a lot of little pieces. Remember that little haunted Disney house we had to do? This is almost similar to that. So, um, I'm hoping it's not so repetitious that it's going to be boring. You know, and I haven't even worked on any tutorials. I'd like to get these behind me because I got a lot of paperwork to fill out for these and stuff like that. And I don't want to get too far behind. When my computer crashed, I had a hard time even getting back into the Lego website for some reason. So I had to deal with that nonsense and all that stuff and. They go like that. Okay, that's how we're doing the trim around the windows. Okay, that's pretty cool. And I forgot to put the angular plates on that. I kind of want to see how good this build here is. And if it sounds like I'm tired, it's probably because I am a little bit... Um, just trying to get these done here and stuff like that and yeah if you notice it's very 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 quiet there's no background noise because the computer's broken <laughs> that's pretty much what it is okay we need two of these type of bricks here there we go all right what kind of person lives in this small little house? So far, this color is not too bad at all. It looks more like an adobe type home, with a, like that adobe um, color. I used to make them in Minecraft using the, uh, the yellow clay. Alright. Gotta make a little sub assembly here. I think it's orange. I think the other one next to it might be medium nougat. There we go. Goes right in the center. And I think this one says it goes right above this window. That's what it shows. So it looks like you got a little awning over the window. Pretty cool, huh? I don't know what this other stuff is for. We'll have to wait and see what that is or what that's all about. So I'm going to try to get. You just have me build two of them and show me where to put them at <laughs> instead of doing it again. Um, but I'm going to try to get the last part of the reviews done. I don't know when these are going to be released though, but by the end of the year I want to get them done. i got a couple of winter projects I'd like to get going. And once that's done, then I can do that. Oh, these are slightly different. Okay, this one goes right here. So I want to get some stuff done. Alrighty. I 
I think after this I'm going to be burned out of Lego. I don't think I want to do this anymore for a while. It's nice to spend time with family and get away from the computer. This goes here. I think it goes in there. There we go. So I guess it's supposed to be the little door. Do they don't have doors that open up like that? They used to have a one by three by four frame. You would add a door to, but last uh, last time I saw those was back when I was a little boy. And now you don't see them anymore, sadly, <laughs> because they're like an old school part. This is before everything got to be minifigure scaled, so... So far, there is a lot of little pieces in here. So far we've been doing a little mix of everything. But if you can see right here, that's a lot of little stuff. So, um, if you're not a fan of this stuff, like... I, I'm not a fan of micro-builds, so... Um, honestly, this is going to be pretty brutal. Pretty cool. I think this one's like a modular type build. And basically, what I mean by modular is that you can pop the floors off and have access to things. It makes things a little brighter. Yeah, for Christmas dinner we had we had ham, which is cool. Ham and I made some homemade cookies. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. Stomach's paying the price for it now, but it's the holidays. Think about it. You know, the sad thing about it is I'm already halfway through. No. Yeah, I got another eight weeks left. Yeah, I have eight more weeks left. So I still have plenty of time to do some some tutorials and stuff. Now, I'm not going to spend all my free time doing Lego. Some have said, oh, you got a lot of time. You're going to spend it on Lego. I'm like, no. <laughs> no, I'm not. So I'm going to be spending a lot more time doing Lego, but not my whole entire you know, vacation time. It looks like the dark purple or the magenta goes on these here. And oh, that doesn't go on there. Alright. There we go. So far, that's pretty. It's pretty cool. It's colorful. some lamps. You know now with these square tiles like this now you can make proper lamps now. You know how sometimes uh, some homes have that pointy roof on top of their porch lights. So now you can do just that too and we got to make two of those. So it's not a bad idea. So some of these little micro builds you could use for your regular mocks and stuff. It's just, well, stick it in there and find out. In fact, these would have been great for the uh, tiny house project that I was working on. I'm not going to bother straightening these up until I shove them in there. Yeah, we were talking in my family about It'd be nice one day to get a cabin or something. 
and have a nice old-fashioned country or mountain Christmas. We were just talking about it and stuff, and I was like, you know, that would be really fun. <laughs> Whether they go through with it, I don't know, but it's like, it'd be different. Okay, they're both. I really can't tell. I think this one's got the dark purple. Now, would it does it really matter? It's not going to be critical here. Not the coral one. Okay, we're good. <laughs> no memory failures yet. Matter of fact, one of my gifts was I got a external four terabyte hard drive. So be good for a backup. Back up some data and stuff like that. Okay, they show this one like this. And there's another one right here, just a simple little Thing. Oh, yes, Ingrid. I know you were you were listening or listening to me. Yes, I got to look up for those things for earrings, but I just got to stop being lazy and just rip them out when I'm done before I go to bed. Sometimes I'll just forget, you know. Some of this guys like having a lot of accessories. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it is. Some of those gals like that stuff. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know which stem it would go on. We're going to put it on the tall one here. I'm feeling kind of gutsy with this one here. There we go. Just one little thing and it goes in the corner right here. So we're going to be working on the inside now. Set that down right there. Now this is going to be kind of a chore because you really don't want to press on that pretty hard because you could break those little limbs off and just kind of wiggle that in there just just wiggle it in and that's what it's supposed to look like not a lot of room in there but it's more room than most lego houses today all right all right so we got to make two of these and looks like these are chairs well, I can't get the stud on the bottom. I can, I can never do that. That's usually tough. But these are little chairs right here. So we're just putting micro furniture in this right now. There we go. And then it wants us to make it a, a little table. This one's not even in the center, so you're gonna have to be you have to get this one lined up. Okay, and this is like a little table in here. I thought maybe it was gonna be like a little sofa, but no, that's a little, little table. There we go. Okay, I managed to get that in there in one piece. <laughs> Didn't mess up yet. And I forgot to mention, I don't know what happened to them, but there is stickers with this set. Um I don't know what happened to them, to be honest. Um, I don't know what bag they're in, or they're even in the manual, but it does come with stickers. I swear it does. Let me take a look at this bin here. If not, then I'm going to have to go hunt for those, because it's going to be something hard to reach. So, um, first off, where did I have the manual at? It, oh, here it is. Right here. And it warrants sticker number one. 
and it's on a nougat tile, so I don't know how I feel about that, but I was talking about getting a silk screen machine and printing these all on there anyways. Just take a I have one for my job, which is a high resolution photocopier. And then just make a photocopy of this stuff and just print it on my own bricks. Lego, if you're watching this, no, I'm not going to sell it. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm not going to sell any of that stuff. I'm going to just do that. I feel like this might be a refrigerator here. So this would be a good idea for your own builds and stuff like that, too. So, Oh, they're using the... Uh, these for drawer fronts pretty cool put that right there it looks like a little counter and that's what the book shows i use those for siding sometimes too okay this is going to be interesting these these little pieces of furniture would be good for a tiny house just upscale a little bit because this is an oven and range Alrighty. So that's not a bad idea. So, so far, like I said, I'm not a fan of micro builds, but this one so far is enjoyable. Let's hope it stays that way, but let's see here. Get that right in there. So we've got some little stools there. Um, okay, the flat side's supposed to go towards the counter here. So obviously it's not scaled for figures, but... Yeah, so if you're not a... A big fan of these little tiny pieces. I do not blame you at all. Okay, I think there's a little table that goes in there next. No, we got to build a tree. The beauty about having the paper manuals is I can show you as I'm building. Versus the tablet, um, the colors are washed. I mean, this doesn't go like that. I stuck that on there. Now I can't get it off. <laughs> it's supposed to go like that. It's supposed to be like a little palm tree or something. There's a lot of green pieces left in here, so you know what we're going after here. Alrighty. Alright, it shows one of these. Oh, we gotta build two trees. Well, you know, let's just do them both while we're here. Yeah. Yeah, the only part that had to break in that computer was something I did not have in my shop. The only thing I can find close that will fit my PC, though, is air-cooled, and I want liquid-cooled, because that was what I put in there originally. And now they got liquid cooled, but these units are so big they will not fit in my little in my little tower. So I actually have to either modify the case, which I really don't want to do, or you know, you know what I'm gonna do? It tells me to put one of these on the top. Oh wait a minute, hold on, we're not gonna do that because we're building. We're building, we're not building two trees, we're building one tree here. Well, we got to build two of these. And then we crown it off the top. I'm just going to take one of these right now and just crown it right away. This is going to be the top piece here. Matter of fact, my hands are like ice cubes today. I sound kind of raspy. It's allergies have been kicking up. We're supposed to have a nasty rainstorm coming in. I mean, they were talking about it's going to be five or six days straight. And so, so we may have major flooding. <laughs> I don't know. All right. So one of these doesn't have a top on it. You take the one without the top. If you can pick it up, let's shove that down in there. And then take the other one and you just cross it over like that. 
and just shove that down on there. It's a nice little micro tree right there. Well, it will stand up, but it doesn't. We skipped a whole section of the house. Okay, we did. Okay, we don't need the tree yet. Um, we need to make a table real quick, and it's got a sticker on it. Right there. As a matter of fact, for my Christmas, ex my holiday Christmas, whatever you want to call it, experience, I watched Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, the one from 1964, and I didn't get that sticker on there all the way. This is my only gripe with Lego sets like this. The parts get this small, and I have to mess with it. That's why it gets dinged off a point. So anyways, I was watching the, the old classic, and that never gets old. Well, we know, obviously, I'm going to rip that sticker off when I'm done. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't because it may be the only thing holding up that tile together. Okay. And we got a little chihuahua too, so he's waiting for his master. Well, maybe this is a micro build, so that instead of a chihuahua, that could be a mastiff. Huh. As big as that is, probably a mastiff. And we're done with bag one. And this is what we had remaining right there. That's a lot of little pieces. Lots of pieces. But it's like one of each. So I don't think I forgot anything. Okay, folks, let's move to bag two. It's like it's the second story. Okay. Let's see here. Let's get going. This one's got a dark azure. Okay, we'll start this one right now. I don't know if I'll review it tonight or not. I'll probably skip the review and wait. It's not like it had, not like I have to have it done. <laughs> So I'm going to say there's medium to small pieces in here, very few large pieces. So I'm going to stick with that diagnosis there. But this set here has a little bit of everything. When I was doing the assessment on the parts, that's what I noticed. It was just basically those. I guess we're putting bricks in this one here. Okay. There. We'll start back here. So this does have some interesting colors. Matter of fact, the colors of this house are pretty are pretty vibrant, they're bright, they're not just, it's not dark and dingy and gloomy. Um, they're bright. And oh, these are just plain old one by ones, nothing special there. Okay, got that done. And so far, yes, this is a very relaxing build. So, so far, so far so good. It's a relaxing build, I'm not stressing. I'm not getting angry with it. I'm not getting frustrated. There's a lot of little pieces. You know, it wasn't as boring as like that one set I did, but at least it's, uh, it's a little different here. And we got to make two. I think these are window seals. What happened, Lego? We didn't deface those with stickers. Oh, but we need those studs, though. 
put those in there. Yeah, for Christmas I got a I got some I got clothes, some tools, and a stuffed Pikachu. <laughs> Or also known as the bed companion. I don't know why, but I thought that was cute. And what I'm gonna, what I didn't get, which I was thankful for, was Lego. And I didn't want any. I told him I was like, no Lego stuff. I said I have more than what I need. Are you sure? I'm like, oh yes. I'm like you've seen my house. You've seen how much Lego I had stuffed under everything. I said, yeah, I don't need, I don't think I need any Lego for a while. And i got to build three of these. So i got two more left to build. So, I didn't get a whole lot, but I didn't ask for a whole lot either. You know, I'm, I'm getting up there in age. I don't really care much, you know, for doing the whole Christmas thing. You know, I'm like, I'd rather let the kids enjoy it than then myself you know I'm, I'm an adult I already had plenty of Christmases in the past I don't need any more but I always hint hey I need something I need something with a little button that I can press and it'll go chirp chirp <laughs> meaning I want a new car it's always been a it's always been a tease about that okay I'm missing one of these tiles here. So it's probably buried. If not, then I'm going to have to go with my personal collection. So what do I do? Well, let's start separating things by color. Now it's this flame yellowish orange here. I think that's the color of it. And what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to start pulling things out by color until I see it. And there it is. So that's what I did. Now if you want to blast this a little faster, you could just, you know, sort by color. Alright, so, looks like the windows go inwards like that. It's all these snot methods here. Alright. Okay, and then we'll start with the profile brick first. We'll set that one right there, and the rest of it's just a bunch of 1x2s and 1x3s. So that it makes it easier, huh? <laughs> I don't have to mess with it too much. So yeah, too bad this is not a playable model, but well, maybe we can make a mock out of this, huh? Make a bigger version of that so we can play with. Maybe add a bathroom or something in there since people get a kick out of the bathroom tutorials. Okay, that's pretty good. One right there, and then a one by six to lock all that in there. Okay, and then It shows this weird thing right here. Now, I'm going to break that down into smaller parts. I really think those tiles are going to just... It, it's going to be more of a pain to line things up with it on that 2x4 plate than anything else. So, what I'm planning on doing is doing it like that. Lining these up. Okay. Make sure they're lined up good. And then... That's what they want. It would be easier doing it that way. And then this will get crowned off right here. That's what it looks like in the front. Kind of crooked stuff because we haven't finished yet. Okay. There's holes up there though. Is that what that's supposed to be? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I think I pushed that in too far. Okay, this is supposed to be like that. 
That looks much better. I was like, that didn't look that didn't look too good. And now we know why. We fix that right up. You know. And we'll continue on here. Next one is almost the same. Yeah, I made a bunch of homemade cookies, and those things have almost been scarfed up. And no, I didn't hoard them all up. You know. In fact, I've been craving for tomatoes and vegetables and stuff like that. I get in those fetishes where I'm just like, ooh, I want some veg vegetables. Right, we got to place five of these right on the front here. So far, it's a very relaxing build. Now, for play for play value on this, play quality, um, I don't know. I, well, I'm not done building it yet, obviously, but I don't really know yet. I can't just tell you this is fully playable when I'm not done with it. But as you can tell, it's micro-scaled. So, I don't think it's going to be fully playable in terms of you can't just shove a minifigure in there. I don't know, maybe maybe use it as a little playhouse for a, a child figure. I mean, we're about 75-80% done with this. So we're getting pretty close here. Um, yeah, all this reddish brown's got me worried. Um, Okay, and then some one by ones. As long as the small pieces are mixed in with the large and doing a little bit of everything, it just makes it a lot better. Instead of trying to spend hours putting together the same old thing. You know, so you notice right now my retention rate's pretty good with this. I haven't uh, screamed or anything like that yet. I can't tell, I think it wants red there. Maybe like some little flower pots or something. It says make two of those. Yeah, I heard in the, some of the states they've been losing power and stuff. I was like, man, you better hope you have a, a working fireplace. Out here they ban them. And it's so sad when people get tickets for having a fire in their fireplace on Christmas Eve. I mean, really, these guys don't take a break at all, and that's one reason why I got this place, is because it had a fireplace in it. You know, I've always wanted one. They were always cool to have. My parents had one, and where my parents are at, they can have fires. Where I'm at, I'm not allowed to. So... So I'm kind of... I'm trying not to go into rant mode here, but um, you know, I've kind of I've kind of had enough of this place. It's just somebody flexing their muscles on you know what we can do, what we can't do. We can't have fires, but we can have fireworks. Alright, and, okay, they're just, okay, we don't need those, we need to put two more right in there. So this is really heavily vegetated here. Oh, we're going to have to be careful with that now, that's, it's going to play with us a little bit here. Alright, I think that's fine. Um... It shows a collision in here, and what I mean by collision is that these parts are right up against one another, and that's what it shows in the book. So, I don't know, I, when I run up my own guides, I try to avoid what I call collisions. Lego calls it, or the guys who write these apps up call it clutch. I call it a collision error. You get a collision error, you got a problem. Basically, I'll show you an example here once I separate these goofy pages. Um, just imagine you have a plate like this. And these two plates get morphed together. 
basically you have a one by seven it doesn't exist so how do you it mismatches the parts I have to go through and check everything I've caught myself doing that a few times so I have to go in and correct some mistakes and stuff so that's why I'm very careful that's why some building guides they take forever to write up you know a little building guide that has probably 200 pieces is pretty easy but let's say for example I'm working on the Michael Myers house or the simple farmhouse for some of you um, it's going to take a long time to proof those. I don't want to have you know somebody come write me later on and says, I, I think I found a mistake. I can't finish this build. I ordered the wrong parts. So I have to check them. You know, I have to go through them. Okay, so we got all those tiles in there kind of crooked. I'm going to take this piece of tile here and I'm just going to I'll stick it inside and just start mushing things down here like this what that does is it lines up all the tiles to the best that we can get them lined up just kind of press down on all those there you go see right there it's all nice and flat okay yeah I may just go ahead and do the review on this this is actually going faster than I thought <laughs> um, I probably won't even need to do a, a close-up view of this All right, so what they want us to do is they want us to cake a lot of tiles on this. That's going to be pretty brutal. So what do we do? Well, start start putting tiles on there. That's the only way to do these at this point here. And they're pretty much random in the book. This is how they have them here. Is it critical? Does, do they have to be put in their place? No, you don't have to. Um, that comes to a point of writing up my own building guides and I use different colors of slopes for a roof. Is it really critical? No. Okay, I, you know, you, some people copy exactly what I do. It's quite all right. But you don't have to do what I do, you know. If it's a tutorial, I don't expect people to copy that brick for brick. It's just merely just as a guide, you know, you know, to build this stuff. You know, because you may see something a little different. Now I copy it brick for brick just because I'm doing the review on it. And I have to see, you know, how easy it for for the instructions. Are these instructions easy to follow? For the most part, yes. And am I getting tired of putting these little round pieces on here? Yes. <laughs> it's uh, pretty much what it is. It's not a bad idea for Spanish tiles. But it's pretty brutal. All right. Remember, we already got the bottom ones lined up. You don't have to line them up if you don't want to set them on a flat table and really mush those down like that and just kind of make sure everything's lined up which it should be and then we pop that on here well it should okay something is preventing this from going in there we go that's reddish brown too I think it's supposed to go like that but we don't know it just shows it like that it's also got the stars. All right. Okay. It does show that this bends. Just do that. Oh, it just lands right on the top of those windows. How do I know that? It shows it on the front of the manual right there. So sometimes if you're not really sure, just check the manual out. And oh no, they want a sticker on that nice, pretty blue-green tile. Well. It'll follow the same fate like all the other tiles that I've been destickering. Jay, you're ruining the flavor. No, I'm saving the flavor. It's got a nice rug pattern on it. Yeah. 
There we go. I wish that was printed. That would have been awesome. And then we work on the inside. So this one here is about, that's about five bricks tall. So you could probably get a minifigure in there. That was, that's probably the, that's probably the bed for the master, the master. <laughs> Looks like we're just doing nothing but sticker work for the next part of these. Yeah, don't worry, I'm not going to be using um, stickers for my mocks and tutorials. Uh, the only thing that I do use stickers for or is foil stickers for mirrors. But I've been trying to stay away from that, you know. Not sure where that goes. Right there. I think it's right here, though. I mean, first off, you have big hands. That's where it shows it at, but maybe it is there. Can't really tell. Must be a little stool or a nightstand or something. We do not know, so we have to guess. And. We make a little chair. We've got to make a to face that beautiful tile for this. Okay, and this is now we got one more sticker left. Looks like a graphic equalizer, so obviously we're gonna be making some sort of audio device in here. Matter of fact, I'd like to dive into that queer eye set that I had got in one of my hauls. Um there's a few pieces that I want out of it, but I want to do a build of it first, and yeah, I'm fighting the sticker, so you know how long that's going to take, but kind of want to dive into that set. It's the sets that I got in my inventory right now that I want to get into, and then it's like, well, I got these first, so that took a while to get that on there. So let's start with that first. Place that in there. That's where it goes. It's a nice pattern. I just wish that was printed. It's like this. So this must be a little end table right there. Okay. And we have one more sticker left too. We're not worried about that right now. Yeah. Get this done here, and I may just go ahead brush my teeth. It's a bedside build obviously. <laughs> and then fix up for bed. You know, film this and go to bed. Okay. So there we go. And then we have a little vase or something there. Maybe that's a TV set. I don't know what that is here. Um, they put a sticker on that. I don't care about these. <laughs> so I really don't care if that gets defaced. Got it on there okay. Let's say it's a badly crooked LCD monitor there. There we go. And we're almost done with this too. Well, obviously we're not going to be tiling anymore with the little tiles. Whoops, that doesn't go there. Um, because we don't have any more left. There's not a whole lot, so this set's not too terribly bad. I wish I knew what the G, the the GWP or gift with purchase info is. Something like this, probably about a hundred, hundred fifty bucks. Don't quote me on that one, but I'm just guessing. But once the video is released, though, I'll have the correct amount in the description. So this obviously pops off, and we got to put a little satellite dish on there. Okay. Let's 
just house of the world. Let's be just a standard home. And where did these go? Did I miss something in here? Did I make a boo-boo again? Okay, that's what it looks like here. Okay, one of those leaf pieces goes there. Okay, we missed some steps. Let's see here. We missed some steps. Now, I don't grade if I miss steps. Um, sometimes I just go through it real quick. Like, I just missed this whole page here, so... I can always use it. What I'm going to do first is I'm just going to go ahead and take the longest prong. I'm going to shove that in there first. These are doing it this way here, and they want a red one. Okay. Let's just You don't want to press down and just kind of rotate it on. I'm going to set that right there, and I'm just going to wiggle that in. Remember we did with the last one, just wiggle it in. Just, or if you have long nails, just push it in, <laughs> right on the edge there. And here they have one of these. So that's what we were missing. It just sits in there. Well, it's got a lot of detail. Plus, if you want to get more light, you just take that off, too. So it's not too bad. All right. Now, why does it Lego sell this stuff regular? I don't know. All right. And that's it. Yep. Looks pretty good. Okay. Let's pick up... Excuse me. Let's pick up this mess here. <laughs> We'll take a look at this model a little bit more closely. So when I do the review on this guy here for the main channel, it'll just be a 360 spin. I'll just take the floors off because it's pretty small. Um, so basically we're just going to put these two on the top like this. Too bad that wasn't a modular. That wouldn't be half bad at all. Maybe we can. Maybe we'll have to make a version of this that's bigger. <laughs> so, obviously, you got your little entryway here in your little living room. Possibly a little dinette, little kitchen, and on the top here you have a bedroom. So pretty much. And honestly, though, and I'm just going to flat out say it, this actually has more detail than the Lego Creator houses. <laughs> Uh, Lego needs to take lessons from themselves. Once you make something bigger than this, make it a Lego creator expert and have a fully detailed furnished home. So, basically with this model here, and let's do the review of it. Um, it honestly wasn't a half bad build. Okay. Um, it was easy to put together. Make sure we have plenty of memory. It was easy to put together. So let's start with build quality. Um, for the most part, it's pretty sturdy. Maybe a couple of these pieces will come apart, and you got to be careful with these stems. Okay, not too big of a deal. Um, and then there's the stickers. You had a whole lot of stickers to put on it. It was pretty easy. But you're going to have to be very patient with the stickers. But then it's not too bad. Um, build experience was pretty pleasant. This was a very delightful, pleasant build. And I think part of the build experience, this is just for me personally. I don't know what everybody else thinks on this. But it's color. Okay? If this was dull and boring, let's say if this was white with a red roof, it would look boring. But look how colorful this is. I mean, this is colorful. And even for an adult like myself... Whether if you're like me or you're on the spectrum or not or whatever, I like looking at stuff with color. Right? Colors just attract me versus just some washed out build. You know, I always like things with color. It's like building in Minecraft. I gotta have bright colors in my builds. Um, and this is not an exception here. This is very brightly colored. It's got greens, reds, yellows, blues, you know. Lots of color. Now, could this be dropped in a Lego City? Um, you 
could, maybe. If you have a Micro City, it definitely would. But if you have a regular Lego City, I wouldn't expect this to fit. So, no dice on that one. Is it playable? Um, if you make some tiny little micro figures, or just use it as a kid's playhouse, you could. So it's somewhat playable. Um, of course, for mocks, there's not really a whole lot to build a mock out of this. But it is a good inspiration to maybe build something bigger. Something more minifigure scaled. So, I'd say it's all around. I'd say I would give this set here... Um, I usually weigh heavily on play playability, but uh, this is a micro build. There's always exceptions to the rules. So the build was very pleasant. I enjoyed putting it together. It wasn't too strenuous. There was a, a good significant amount of small pieces. But honestly, though, I would say it's probably a solid 9. Overall, build experience was a 10. Stickers dropped it down to an 8. Some pieces were pretty critical in here, so I would have to drop it down to a 9, you know. So it's like, I'd say it's a solid 9, you know. So, oh, well, it looks like I won't be filming that review after all. I'm getting tired, but there it is. This is House of the World 1. Where's 2? I don't know, but if this, in, if this is indeed a GWP or gift with purchase set, um, I'm expecting it to be pretty pricey but to clear an order for this. But nonetheless, though, if you do get this, it, just, it depends on what Lego decides to do with it. Um, I think it's a really good, pleasant build experience. Something to do in the afternoon. Maybe it's a rainy day, and uh-oh, memory light's flashing, so I guess I'll cut it off here. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed the build of this model.